No, this isn't who I think it is. Hello? Satan? Man, we ain't seen you in a long time. What you been up to? We're watching the credits at the end of a movie and noticed that there was a name as a director. This was a person who had been a movie star, but it kind of disappeared. The old saying, out of sight, out of mind, kind of applies. But just because you're out of sight and out of mind doesn't mean that you haven't been busy. The same could be said about Satan. Just because we don't see him, just because he's out of sight and out of mind does not mean he's out of the picture. And he's still busy. I think sometimes we get it confused thinking that just because we don't attach his name to something doesn't mean that he's not involved resist the devil and he will flee. But what if you don't know that the person that you're fighting is the devil? The Bible says that we war not against flesh and blood, but sometimes it feels like flesh and blood is who we're warring against rather than against the devil. Make no mistake about it. Satan is smart. He's wise. He's been at this for a lot longer than we've been alive. And when he comes, he doesn't just show up knocking saying, hey, this is Satan, look at what I'm going to do. No, he comes, as the Bible says, an angel of light. And so we've got to look at what's going on in the world and look at his agenda. And he won't tell you up front what his agenda is. He's going to put it in a nice little bow, a nice little package, and make it look good, make it sound good, make it smell good. And to us, as we take it in, as we consume it, we actually think that it is good but it ends up being uh, something not so good for us. It ends up leading to destruction. He's decided that whatever agenda that he's in, it can't be apparent that it's him. And so he puts these neat little titles on them. For example, let's say he wants to get rid of a lot of people. Uh, he wants to have a lot of bloodshed, but make us feel good about it. And so he'll, he'll, he'll put it under the umbrella of maybe uh, reproductive rights or woman's right to choose and give it a nice little title such as Planned Parenthood because who doesn't want to plan out their parenthood? Who doesn't want to plan out their family? That is a good title. You know why it's a good title? Because Satan is good at what he does. Another example, how about Black Lives Matter? Wait a minute, who would be against the lives of black people? Well, nobody. But when you get to the heart of the matter and you find out that that actual organization is against God himself, when you go and look at some of the things that they stand for, those things that they stand for on their own website will tell you they're not for us. They're not for what the Bible or what God is for. But that's what Satan does. He comes at us in ways to make us think that it's not him and cause us to fight against each other. So we don't think that we're fighting against him, but we're Republicans fighting against Democrats or Democrat versus Republican, black versus white, white versus black, young versus old. He has these ways of, of, of making us think that we're evolving into something better. He's got this new thing that's going around that makes us feel like uh, that's what I want to be. It's, it's got young folks and old folks alike jumping on board with this nice little title. It's a title called Woke. I'm aware of, of, of what's going around and I want to be socially conscious and I want to be a benefit towards my fellow man. That's how he packages it. But that's not really what's actually happening. He comes under the guise of tolerance. Love my fellow man. I'm going to accept what he's doing just so long as he accepts what I'm doing. And if he's doing something that's sin, well, it's okay because, hey, it's none of my business. And, well, I should live and let live. I'll even, under the guise of tolerance, twist some of the scriptures. I'm not going to judge him because the Bible says, after all, judge not. But is that what it really says? No. But as long as Satan can keep us from the Bible, as long as Satan can keep us from having our attention on him, and even more to the point, having our attention on God and Christ himself, then we think we're doing something totally different, something that doesn't have any, any kingdom implications. But the fact of the matter is, Satan is good at what he does. He's good at dividing us. And so remember, when you're out there and you're looking at how the world is devolving, how the world is getting more, more and more chaotic, how the world is full of evil, death, destruction, ask yourself, who really is behind it? And when you come to an actual answer, 
if your answer is Satan, then you'll know what Satan's been up to.